Hi, Jared with VisibleTour.com, and today we are gonna talk about the new update with Premiere Pro CC, which allows you to grade your log footage pretty quickly, a lot faster than you were able to before without a preset. So this is amazing, we're gonna hop into it right away and talk about this. So right now we are in a footage that I actually graded. It looks pretty decent. Um, I am not the best colorist, but I try. And so this one was graded. This is what it looks like not graded. And so what you do is with the new tab under basic correction in Premiere Pro, you just hit auto. And give it a second or two, there it goes. So it adjusted all the highlights, the contrast, exposure, the whites, shadows, blacks, everything there. Um, also will reflect here on the, um, on the scopes too. And actually I'm not sure if it actually went across there yet. There we go, now it did. Uh, so that's the correct scope. Um, so if I hit reset, this is what it looked like. We'll hit auto again. And this is what it did with the scope. This is what it looks like here. So this is almost half the battle. It even tried to you know, color balance it here and, and do a white balance. And uh, maybe it's close, maybe it's not. But obviously it doesn't do a whole lot with saturation. Um, but you go into the creative tab and there's not much more you have to do right here. So we could change the sharpness. I usually like to take C log three footage, which this is what that is. It's C log three from the Canon R6. Bring up the sharpness. Uh, vibrance, um, we, can, we can crank it, um, probably bring it to around 29. And um, we can actually bring up some more saturation under there. Uh, you can also do a little bit more with the curves. So we touch the curves here. Let's go start in the center. So a little mid-tone shadow. Um, bring it down. So we're just doing a quick grade real, real quick. Nothing super fancy. Um, and we can always go back. Look at that, we can bring the highlights down even more. Although the auto got us kind of where we needed to be, you could tweak it a little bit. You can also bring back this setting too and bring the intensity down. Uh, but we've already altered this a little bit so that went away. Um, so brought down the, um, brought up the contrast, brought down the highlights, and the shadows looks pretty good. And we can also go back to curves. We can look at um, saturation. So if we're gonna bring the saturation just on this alone, you can kinda go a little nuts here, bring that up there, and then let's, uh, let's kinda look at this blue tone here and see what that looks like with saturation. So uh, a little there. So the comparison from this one to this one, now obviously I spent a little bit more time so I got the trees and they're a little bit more saturated, but the sky actually doesn't look the best here. Now this is a quick footage uh, of a real estate property and so there's actually more detail here than there is when I spent forever trying to grade this on my own. <laughs> so you actually get nice more detail with the C-Log3 um, doing the automatic settings, going right to curves, but then Let's see what drone footage looks like. So here's a drone shot that I did with the Mavic 2 Pro. And so this is what it looks like ungraded. This is what I did myself to grade it. So let's see what we could do for a comparison using this automatic uh, feature. So let's hit the auto and look at that. It brought up the saturation quite a bit, um, brought the whites down, brought the blacks down. So it automatically analyzes it. It looks at the waveform. So obviously this moved and uh, had some changes. So let's just compare where we're at so far. It's actually not far off. So here is the new grade with the auto. And then this is where I was. So the only thing we really need to do is maybe I'll go to curves and uh, maybe bring shadows down just a tad here for a little bit more contrast. Um, in this one, we can bring highlights up maybe a little bit. We can go back to creative, uh, sharpen this, bring the vibrance up. We can also tweak it a little bit, um, bringing the whites in a little more. Also bring the blacks up, give it a little bit more contrast. 
and um, this is the comparison so this was what I spent forever grading and this is where we're at so actually I like this better so this is the automatic with a few tweaks this is me doing everything tweaking and so here's the waveform of what I did here's the waveform from pretty much the base of the new auto setting and this is doing log footage so again this is what I did right here for this footage for the C log 3 and this is what it could use some more saturation obviously but the highlights are pretty much nailed and uh, the contrast is down pretty good it's more cinematic this seems more video this has more of a cinematic look to it and so I'm actually pretty happy with this footage um, so let me know if this is something that will help you to do log correcting. You can also correct simple non-log things as well. So footage that doesn't have log. Um, I find this very useful. I probably will be using this in the near future. And um, I like to stay away from LUTs just because a LUT doesn't fix everything. And it's nice to start with this base and then tweak it a little bit. And then if the scene is very similar, copy and paste it to other scenes and then change the white balance as needed but have that same look so if you found this helpful please subscribe to my channel and like this video so till next time quick video out